Do you find that you have an avoidant partner and they are constantly keeping their emotional distance? And maybe even that this makes you feel worried or uncertain about the future? Well, there is one crucial factor that might be holding them back from falling really in love with you. And in this video, we are going to go through and help you discover exactly what that factor is so that you can start transforming your relationships. If you are new here, my name is Thais Gibson. I'm the founder of the Personal Development School, and I created the Personal Development School after healing my own attachment style, um, and I'm here to share these really powerful tools with you. We talk on this channel about the subconscious mind, attachment styles and relationships, reprogramming techniques, and tips to really create thriving relationship dynamics. So if you are interested, please consider subscribing. I put almost daily content out here. Now, I want to start off by saying this is not a video about people pleasing or finding how to morph yourself into what somebody else expects of you so that you can gain their approval. This instead is a video designed for somebody who feels like they are chasing an avoidant or even have a pattern of chasing more avoidant people in their lives to deeply understand why this is happening and how you can actually change these patterns through something I talk about called the relationship shadow. By understanding this one thing in this very short video, it will help you grow, heal, and get the love that you really deserve. So if you've never heard of the term the shadow before, the shadow is a term originally coined by Carl Jung. And Carl Jung talks about how the shadow is the part of ourselves we try to deny or hide. And these really exist in the form most often of our traits. So what this looks like, because this may sound confusing at the beginning, is that whenever you repress traits within yourself, they're going to come out in hidden forms. Let me give you an example. Let's say you grew up in an environment where you had really strict parents. And a result of this, uh, as a result of this strictness in your household, when you would try to assert yourself or say no to something that they demanded of you or set your own boundary in some way, that would be punishment. That would equate to punishment. You would literally find yourself not being allowed to set your own boundary or state your own needs. And in fact, trying to be assertive in any way would just cause you to be in a greater conflict with your parents where you would never get your way. So what happens? Well, as a result of this kind of dynamic, you would find yourself saying, okay, this assertiveness trait is not safe. It's not safe for me to be assertive. It doesn't work this way. Now I'll actually share an example of a client I had who, for the sake of this video, will call Julie and what I found with Julie is that she exactly had this upbringing. In particular, she had one really strict parent and she learned, I cannot be assertive. It doesn't get my needs met. It just gets me in trouble and into a conflict. So she learned to be very people pleasing and really repressed this part of herself. As a result of this, she was very much attracted to people who were very assertive. She found it to be like a, a very empowering trait. She was always like, wow, look at that person. They can assert themselves so well. And she kept finding herself in a dynamic where she would be attracted to assertive people. Why does this happen? Because when we have a shadow trait, when we have a part of ourselves that we think is wrong or bad, that's actually healthy. When we try to push it down, another aspect of the self is drawn to this trait in other people. Okay. So this is part of our shadow. Now, what's really interesting is that this can happen in a good way, you know, where we can be attracted to somebody assertive. Maybe that can help us build our own assertiveness over time if we spend a lot of time around them, getting that behavior modeled to us. But it can also create problems instead. In other words, if you are a person who grew up in a household where you didn't get your needs met, because you don't get your needs met growing up, you think you have to people please other people to get your needs met. You actually become avoidant to yourself. Maybe you grow up with people sort of being touch and go, being there and then not there. And that caused them to sort of be avoidant to you in a way. Guess what's going to happen? You are going to become avoidant in the relationship to yourself as a result of this. This becomes an aspect of your shadow and it becomes what you are attracted to in other people. So when you find yourself in a pattern of chasing avoidant people, constantly trying to win them over, what this usually represents is that you are in an avoidant relationship to yourself and you're not realizing this because you were too busy people pleasing all the time and you're putting yourself last as a result. And what actually helps you to have more avoidant people become more attracted to you and want to show up and invest in the relationship with you 
is when you learn to build a relationship to yourself, you communicate what your needs are for mothers. You make sure that you set your boundaries in your relationships with others. You tell somebody if they're not meeting your needs in some sort of way. The more you allow yourself to take up space, the more avoidant people will actually be drawn to you and more securely attached people for that matter. Because when we constantly people please, people will treat us the way that we treat ourselves, right? You will see this reflected back to you over and over and over again. So what does this mean? Well, number one, we actually have to practice trade integration. We have to stop the dynamic of constantly being in an avoidant relationship to ourselves. We can do this through doing shadow work. I actually have a full course you can check out on this completely for free, just for a limited time. I will put the link down below. Um, it's not free on an ongoing basis, but just for this seven day sort of chapter right here, as you're seeing this video. Um, and this course will help you to dig more deeply into understanding why you're attracted to the people that you're attracting attracted to, and also how to break down these traits because we are so often attracted to people that represent the relationship we have to ourselves. If you find that you are attracted to avoidant people, dismissive people, um, people who don't take care of your feelings and needs, chances are when you look inwards, you will find the exact same patterns. I don't take care of my feelings, my needs. I'm avoidant to myself, dismissive of my own boundaries, et cetera. These are the types of things that you will be likely to find. So when you can understand this about yourself and do the work to actually change those patterns, really recondition them at a subconscious level, not only will you heal profoundly, but you will also empower yourself to become more attractive to other people, particularly those people that you found yourself in the cycle with. So I know it's a lot for this video. Um, I do put daily videos on this channel. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing. Again, you can check out that course for free for a limited time down below. And thank you so much for joining me today. Can't wait to see you in future videos.